Sometimes we're given the overall reaction and all of the steps but one. We're asked to write the equation for the missing step. Here's an example. The overall reaction is shown here, step one is shown here, and step two is shown here. We're asked to write the equation for step three. First thing we do is draw a line under step three and write the overall reaction below. You can see we just copied the overall reaction from above as was given in the question. We can circle C3 plus on both sides and put an arrow in for step three. We have two A4 pluses on the left in the steps and in the overall reaction. So we just leave A4 pluses the way they are. We have a C2 plus on the left in the steps but not in the overall reaction. So we must put it on the right side of step three so we can cancel it out. We circle the C2 plus on both sides. We have a B plus on the left in the overall reaction, but not in the steps. So we add it to step three. C4 plus is on the right side in the steps, but not in the overall reaction. So we write C4 plus on the left side of step three so we can cancel it. And we circle it. We have two A3 pluses on the right in the steps and in the overall reaction. So we leave A3 pluses the way they are. We have a B3 plus on the right in the overall reaction, but not in the steps. So we add a B3 plus to the right side of step three. We now check that everything in the steps adds up to the overall reaction, leaving out the circle species. We have two A4 pluses in the steps and two A4 pluses in the overall reaction. So A4 pluses are fine the way they are. We have one B plus in the steps and one B plus in the overall reaction. So B pluses are also fine the way they are. We have two A3 pluses in the steps and two A3 pluses in the overall reaction. So A3 pluses are fine the way they are. We have one B3 plus in the steps and one B3 plus in the overall reaction. So all the species remaining in the steps add up to those in the overall reaction. We must also check that the equation for our new step, which is step three, is balanced. Atoms and charges should both be balanced. We see that there is one atom of B on both sides and one atom of C on both sides, so atoms are balanced. The total charge on the left is plus one and plus four, which is a total of plus five. The total charge on the right is plus two and plus three, which is also a total of plus five. So the charge on each side is balanced. So the final answer is that step three is B plus plus C four plus gives C two plus plus B three plus. Okay, here's one for you to try. Here, you are given the overall reaction, the equation for step one, and the equation for step three. And you're asked to write the equation for step two. At this point, pause the video, try to come up with an answer, and then restart the video and check the answer. The first thing we do is copy the overall reaction and insert it below the steps. Steps 1, 2, and 3 must add up to the overall reaction. We can start by looking for species which cancel. We circle the NO2s in the steps because they will cancel. We do have an NO2 on the left side of the overall reaction, but no longer in the steps as the ones in the steps were cancelled. So we can add an NO2 to the left side of step 2. We have a CO on the left side of the steps and in the overall reaction, so the CO is fine. We also have a CO2 on the right side of the steps and in the overall reaction, so the CO2 is also fine. There is an NO2MN on the right side of the steps, but not in the overall reaction. So we add an NO2MN to the left side of step two so we can cancel it. And we circle both of these as they can cancel. We have an MN on the left side of the steps, but not in the overall reaction. So we add an MN to the right side of step two so we can cancel it. And we circle the two MNs. We have an NO3 on the left side of the steps, but not in the overall reaction. So we add an NO3 to the right side of step two to cancel the one on the left. 
and we circle these two NO3s. Notice we have an NO on the right side of the overall reaction, but none in the steps. Step 2 is the one we are writing, so we add an NO to the right side of step 2. Now we check to see that what's left in the steps after omitting the circle, their cancelled ones, add up to the overall reaction. We have one NO2 in the steps and one NO2 in the overall reaction, so NO2 is fine. We have one CO in the steps and one CO in the overall reaction, so CO is fine. We have one NO in the steps and one NO in the overall reaction, so NO is also fine. And finally, we have one CO2 in the steps and one CO2 in the overall reaction, so the CO2 is fine. Now we need to check everything in our new step, which is step 2, to make sure it is balanced. We have two atoms of N on the left side and two atoms of N on the right side. We have 2 plus 2 equals 4 atoms of O on the left side and 3 plus 1 equals 4 atoms of O on the right side. So we have one atom of Mn on both sides. Also, notice that none of the species are charged, so the total ionic charge on both the left side and the right side is zero. So our equation for step two is currently balanced for atoms and charges. So the answer is step two is NO2 plus NO2Mn gives Mn plus NO3 plus NO. Sometimes we are asked to write the formula for the activated complex in a given step of a mechanism. In this example, we're asked for the formula of the activated complex in step 2. Remember, an activated complex can also be called the transition state. To write the formula for the activated complex, we look at the reactants NO2 plus NO2Mn. For the activated complex, we just take all of the reactant atoms and put them all together into one species. There are two N's, four O's, and one Mn. So the formula for the activated complex would be N2O4 Mn. Now we're asked to write the formula for the activated complex in step 3. We do this the same way we did in step 2. We look at the reactants NO3 plus CO. Again, we just take all of the reactant atoms and put them all together into one species. There is one N, one C, and four O's. So the formula for the activated complex in step 3 is NCO4 or NO4C. For help on reaction mechanisms or any other chemistry topic, visit culturechemistry.com or email me at dcalger at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video.